Joachim Noah becomes a free agent at the stroke of midnight as he is the topic of our first headline. Reports say the center is expected to come to New York and sign with the Knicks in the $18 million range. He has a meeting with the team Friday afternoon, and even though he has struggled with injuries and played only 29 games this season, this could be a big boost for the Knicks as he is reunited with Derrick Rose as well. Do you think Noah is the right fit for the Knicks, Sal? Uh, I personally love it. I know the injury history. I know he's not, you know, 25 years of age, but think about what you're getting with Joakim Noah. You're getting a guy who plays as passionate as you can possibly play out there. He cares about winning. He is a winning player, and he's a great defensive player. So, of course, players are going to be injured, and I know he's been oft injured the last couple of years, but it's the perfect fit for me, for this team, the way it's constructed, and for this city. Nick fans will love Joakim Noah. Well, you just see why they're going to do this because a guy like Noah brings hope. He brings something they haven't had before, and he's along with Derek Rose. So he gets the fans all stirred up, you know, all excited. But like this, Sal. Yeah. Sal, exactly. But this guy, as Sal pointed out, has a history of injuries. The other thing I want to know is the length of the contract. Derek Rose is a one year deal, so there's really no. Uh, high risk there if he if he messes up. If they give this guy three or four years, I don't like the deal. <laughs> Could be. Well, injuries are the are the problem, obviously. But uh, I'm with Sal on this one, Bob. We're going against you yeah, here. The, the, the Knicks out hard. The Knicks are going back to the playoffs, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I heard look, the same thing, John, when they brought Spencer <laughs> Haywood and Bob McIntyre. Wow, that's going way back. Oh, yeah. But look, look, it's not only the passion, and, and you're right. New Yorkers are going to love the guy. He dives on loose balls. He's a great offensive rebounder. But he he, he also sees the floor. He's a great passer for a center which is perfect because they don't need a score they're going to have mellow they're going to have uh, rose and they're going to have porzingis now they need a guy to keep the ball moving he's kind of fit fit, fit perfectly in this offense the, the, i really think the, i mean if he stays healthy this this team is but really also improved. according to phil jackson the center position is very vital to this triangle well, offense that, that he has and i think as a passer do, that's that's right. I know, michelle i'm yes. glad you told me that but i want to tell you something else about noah what the fans will like about him is his toughness. This yeah. guy is a guy, if he's on your team, you love him. If he's not on your team, you right. hate him. So he's going to bring the kind well, of physicality. get under people's skin. Yeah. Right, the kind yeah. of physicality the Knicks haven't had in years. And I think the greatest compliment, as far as I'm concerned, that you could pay any member of the Knicks or any basketball player is he would fit in on those 90s Knicks teams that I grew up yeah. on. This guy would be a perfect fit for that. And to your point, Harp, and to your point, Michelle, with the triangle offense, he's a selfless player who yeah. can pass the ball out of out of the center position down low, which is great. All they do now would be a two guard who could shoot, they need a shoot. and they are a complete five team. I know that risk with injuries, yeah. but honestly, if it weren't for those risks, they wouldn't be able to put together a team with this caliber. Right. Right. So Melo has to be smiling somewhere right now. I think uh, let's he's hope, probably is Let's smiling. hope he is. Are you smiling? I am smiling. <laughs> You're here on the show.